low in both the competition of Black Nights Film Festival. Uh, we almost close, uh, very close, close to finish one of the last films in our competition. I'm Edvinas, one of programmers here. And today we will talk with Croatian director Dubravka Turic. Why Croatia is in Baltic competition? Because we changed uh, uh, rules and uh, uh, from this year especially we embrace uh, directors from anywhere if we manage to have significant co-production with Baltic country. But firstly, Dubravka, your, uh, it's a, Traces is uh, your debut film after two shorts, which were shown in, in Cannes and then traveled all o around the world. And while researching your film, also I, uh, in other co-production markets, I always was hearing that this is a personal story of yours. Maybe you can expand as much as you can. <laughs> Yes, yeah, sure. Uh, first, uh, thank you for the invitation on, on this Tallinn Black Nights Festival. I'm really happy that I'm in the competition, so thank you for the selection. Uh, yes, this is my first debut film, and I really did it for from the personal uh, feeling that I have. But with the three shorts I did before, I also did it like that, because it, it is a good, uh, for me, it is like a zero point uh, to start mm -hmm. something. It is something that I felt uh, very much intense so uh, I, I know what kind of feeling it is and it was very interesting for me because I have some points that were very uh, significant for me in my life mm -hmm. so I wanted to do the story uh, so there are like uh, zero points and then I do the story around them that's how I mm -hmm. uh, made my script so uh, all of my films uh, have something personal to do with me mm -hmm. and uh, Maria is quite prophetic uh, actress, in, not only in Croatia, but in the Balkan cinema. And she is always chameleonically different. And in your film, uh, she blooms uh, uh, also uh, em so melancholic emotions. Is yes. it uh, you directed her as... Uh, could we imagine y yourself in, in Maria? Yeah, yes, mm -hmm. I, I was mm -hmm. trying to, I mean, that's not really me, but mm -hmm. it could be me, yeah. you know. Uh, it's me halfway. Uh, and, uh, but Maria is, she has a sensibility that mm -hmm. is very similar to my sensibility, and that's how I picked her up. Mm -hmm. And she's very, very talented actress. So we talked a lot and we really uh, prepared uh, for uh, lots, uh, lots of time for uh, months and months, and we, you know, she she understood exactly what she has to do with her role, and she did it really, really good because uh, there is a lot of uh, silence in the film, as you know. Uh, so it's very hard for actor to be alone all the time and just commu communicate with walls or computers or I don't know. But I think she really did a great job. Mm -hmm. And she is anthropologist, and there are plenty of details, historical details, mm -hmm. and I, th uh, I think food, uh, historical footage you use also, it's not filmed by you, right? Uh, I know, we filmed it. Ah. Yes, oh. we filmed it. So it's a, a fake uh, uh -huh. historical because uh, there is no footage uh -huh. about that, uh, those stones mm -hmm. in Croatia. Uh, they're not so much known mm. as you would suppose. Mm -hmm. uh, very uh, uh, people in Croatia, most of them don't know about those uh, mirilas mm. and uh, the, the old tradition uh, uh, burial uh, um, things. But so we did it like a fake. Uh, the only thing, maybe three pictures are uh, real. I, I uh, took them from the museums, mm. but uh, all of them, I did the pictures and uh, the oh. the films also. But stones, stones. Uh, stones are real? You got some yes. evidence, historical evidence? It's not it's your, not made up. your no, no. intervention. It's real. Mm -hmm. It's real, and it's really some old, pa let's say half pagan, half mm -hmm. Christianity, half, nobody knows where it mm -hmm. comes from. And it's just in a, a small place in the mountains in mm -hmm. Croatia. 
And because they were very poor people living over there, so nobody had camera or filmed it. And it, it's a burial uh, from, uh, uh, I don't know, 300 years ago. And it vanished. Uh, mm -hmm. The last uh, uh, one was maybe in the 50s, 1950s. Mm -hmm. So yes. it's not anymore uh, alive. Yeah. As I said, tra Traces is very emotional, heartbreaking. It's about loneliness uh, and also how you treat yourself by the loss of your dear uh, uh, someone who, who is dear to you. But you also manage to include humor, which sparkles, uh, even, uh, at least smile. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Maybe you can elaborate on, on yes. that, how you create uh, this also emotion where you can feel good. Yes, because mm -hmm. I wanted to do something that is very similar to the life mm -hmm. itself. Mm -hmm. You know, you cannot always, you're n nothing is black and white. So you're not just sad or just mm -hmm. drama or I wanted to have everything. And then when I have those, uh, uh, like, let's say, humor mm -hmm. parts, because I wanted the character to be, uh, uh, you know, alive, Bec to make her so you see that she's, uh, uh, you know, she's also... Uh, intelligent, she can laugh, she has friends, so, you know, she's not just one-dimensional character. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to give her a, a wideness mm -hmm. through the humor. And mm -hmm. I also like the other character, the male mm -hmm. one. Mm -hmm. I wanted him to make the film, you know, in that part a little bit, like, mm -hmm. so the audience uh, has, like, a little push in, mm -hmm. in the third part of the movie. Oh. And Trace starts in a big city in Zagreb, I guess, mm -hmm. and it slowly moves to out out of the city. Did you shot in chronological order, or you no. you you unfortunately, went back and forth? Yes, unfortunately, mm -hmm. we cannot uh, do that because, uh, of course, mm -hmm. of the financing. But uh, we were very good prepared, mm -hmm. so we had to ah. do everything. But it worked out. Ah. We mm -hmm. were. As, as we both know, we are in Baltic competition. Mm -hmm. Lithuania has uh, helped you to co-produce film with uh, uh, Serbia, too. Mm -hmm. uh, but we will let's talk about Lithuanian part. Mm -hmm. When Yeva Norvilnia joined to production, uh, at which moment? Mm -hmm. okay. She uh, joined us, and uh, I'm really lucky she mm -hmm. did, because she was a great help, and she's a great woman and a great producer. Uh, it was after the script was done, oh, and uh, yeah. with my producer Ankitsa, she was on some uh, meeting somewhere, and uh, she liked the script. Mm -hmm. She, we had a lot of pitches. We went uh, uh, around. She really liked the script and the story, and that's what for me it's very important that producer loves the story, not mm -hmm. just wants to make the film, but mm -hmm. feels the story. And we, so we, we, she was really a big help for us, and we had the whole post-production, the um, composer, um, the sound design, uh, we did everything in Lithuania, and uh, I'm really happy I would do it again. Mm. Uh, yeah, and uh, let's mention, at least to me, score is haunting and forgettable, also it's very melancholic and minimal. And Jonas Jurkunas did that. And uh, could you reveal how Jonas worked? D you sent him a footage or he visited you d during filming? Mm -hmm. uh, I sent him mm -hmm. the footage mm -hmm. and uh, some example of how I think mm -hmm. it should be. And then he did some samples and sent to me. Mm -hmm. So we were sending each other for, mm -hmm. it was for a few months. Uh, and he really, and then uh, when I, I came two times in Vilnius, so we met and uh, we did something in... Uh, Mm -hmm. But it was hundreds of Zooms and Skypes and everything, mm -hmm. and I think he really, really did very good music. And he do you know if he plays himself or he uses other musicians? Uh, he, uh, uh, his wife is a p piano player, mm -hmm. uh, and she's, I know she's playing the piano. He plays uh, some of the instrument, and there is an a instrument that I really liked. Uh, it's called Biber... Biber it's a Lithuanian... Bir Birbine? Birbi yes, mm -hmm. this one. Mm -hmm. So he introduced me with that, and he didn't know will I like it, and I loved it. So it's a little bit of that, that uh, it's some uh, uh, Lithuanian musician is playing. So um, 
but it's very lit uh, national Lithuanian instrument yes, in that's Croatian why, film. <laughs> yes, that's why he was asking me, what do you think about it? And there is something that we have very similar sound mm -hmm. in Croatia. Uh, uh, we, call, we call it different. P and then I felt, yes, it's good because the mountains and the rural area, it really mm -hmm. uh, did good in the movie. So it was mm -hmm. a good uh, symbiosa between uh, Lithuania and Croatia in this part. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Dubravko, for Hello. sharing these uh, memories mm -hmm. about Traces. Traces had world premiere in Warsaw Film Festival in one two competition. This is uh, a second f uh, international film festival. We really wish uh, a big success after uh, after world competition. Uh, it's a film which needs to be seen in, and heard, as you understood, on the big screen. Uh, with doesn't leave you so easily. It's a film which you must switch your brain o on and and uh, feel these emotions. And I believe, uh, and uh, my intuition says that uh, especially Dub Dubravka's film will uh, leave a lot of traces in your heart after Black Knight will finish. Thank you very much. <laughs>